welcome to Unwrap with me, your girl Helen. Hope you had a great weekend and uh, you've been waiting for Unwrap this whole time. Hope you've been enjoying all our other episodes. Today I'm chatting with an entrepreneur. He's done a lot. We've seen him giving motivational talks. He's an author. He's got a school. He's got a lot. A whole lot of things that he's going to share with us. But let's get to know my guest on the other side. Welcome back. So I, I mentioned earlier that today I'm talking to an entrepreneur and I'm talking about Rosie Siatwambo. We've probably seen him. He's been featuring on our show, on, on our ZNBC show, Smooth Talk, for a long time. He's been giving a lot of motivational talks, exams, made easy author, giving tips on how you can study for exams and a whole lot of other things. I'm at his house today, found him relaxing and I thought I should ask him a little bit of questions so we can get to unwrapping him. How are you? I'm good, are you? I'm great. Bye, bye. So today we've come to your home and said, uh, you know what, let's catch him when he's relaxing. Yeah, <laughs> indeed I'm relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> How's the family? No, the family is doing good. Yeah. Uh, always well. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, today, today I don't want to talk about um, exams made easy. Uh -huh. I don't want to talk about you motivating me. I just want to know who Roses is. Who Roses is off the work. Like, uh, first, uh, first, first things first, I want to know your background. Where were you born from? Choma, uh, first and foremost, where I was born from and uh, raised. Um, I was raised in the village, uh, Choma area, that's uh, Batoka area, mm -hmm. uh, where I spent much of my childhood up to the time when I was in, uh, in my sixth uh, grade. Uh, before I relocated, I came to Lusaka, uh, joined the rest of the family. Um, in, in short, um, I spent much of my, my childhood in the village, uh, uh, taking care of cows and all this, you know. And um, when I came to Lusaka, I joined the rest of the family at that time we were in Shawama. And um, well, uh, in terms of my education, um, I, I was at Siachitinta from uh, first up to that's uh, sixth grade before I came to Lusaka. Uh, Chawama at Chimwemwe, where I did my first to seventh grade, and uh, the story is known to say the first to seventh grade I didn't do well, I felt, yeah. and uh, that's how I repeated. And then after I repeated, I went to Arakan. So uh, I was at Arakan from my eighth up to my twelfth uh, grade, and uh, later on, University of Zambia. After University of Zambia, then here I am. Yeah. How was the teenage life? You know, when we're teenagers, we like to experiment a lot of things. Most of us, when we when we reach teenagehood, we actually think we know more than our parents do. How was it for you? Were you one of those very obedient children or you kind of somehow, somehow tried to experiment certain things that were, your parents were against? <laughs> My mind is jumbled. You're going to laugh at it. You know, um, you know, you have a situation where you, you I mean, um, I relocated from the village and then I joined the rest of the family in Nwati, Lusaka. And then, you know, you have grown up in the village and then you join a society, different language, different people together, and then you must cope with what, with life in the what, in, in, in the town uh, set up. Uh, so that's where we ha had a bit of uh, some, some, some challenges in, in, uh, to catch up with, um, with life in, in what in town. And I want to mention that I was a laughing stock. Uh, even in class, I remember uh, because of my Tongaish, whatever. So <laughs> accent. my accent, yeah. I couldn't ask any question because each time you want to ask a question, and then friends would just burst into laughter, yeah. and then he, so I was a quiet boy. And uh, even 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 in terms of playing, you know, where you are coming from the village, and then everyone was just uh, you know we used to fear people from town in the village, you know. Uh, each time would spot people from town, the time when in the, the village, you know, these were being treated as, you know, like kings, queens, queens and so on. And then you join these people in what in town. So uh, I want to mention that my part of my teenage, um, I had um, a bit of some low self, self-esteem because of my, my background. And I picked up at some point, I don't know how, where. <laughs> so even in terms of uh, girls and all this, I, I started at a later stage. Yeah. Uh, because I mean, um, I couldn't associate myself with town girls until up to some point when I, I got used to town life. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that uh, loss of esteem kind of played a role in you failing your exam, your grade seven exam? Yeah, yeah, it, it did. It contributed because um, um, I mean, the time I, I I was in grade seven, my first attempt, I remember, I couldn't even ask questions from my my friends. Even when I needed any materials from uh, from them, I couldn't ask. Even um, teachers, I couldn't even consult. So I was a quiet boy most of the times. And uh, moreover, I didn't have any materials because I'd, I'd left most of my books in the what uh, in the village. So somehow it did it contributed. But somehow it, it contributed to my success because I never started. I never engaged in these 
um, so-called whatever fancy life. Um, much of my time I had to dedicate it to, to what to work, to school work, because I knew uh, I had no friends out there, I had no one who could um, uh, want to be with me, uh, who could talk to me because of my, my language, my, 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 my tribe, uh, I mean the, the, the way I used to come out each time I was talking to them. Okay, yeah. so you're saying that uh, even you, you were even avoiding having girlfriends because you had you had you didn't have obviously the guts to approach them. So the first time you said I'm going to approach this lady, did you try to rehearse an accent? How was it? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know how many times we took uh, walks. Uh, you know where you have it in you to say next time I'm going to tell this girl to say I love you, but where do you start from? And yeah. then if she says no, what will happen? Mm. Right. So. You know, there were all these fears and uh, uh, all these fears. Mm -hmm. And I think my first girl, I remember I think it never came from me. It came from her. Oh. And it was unbelievable. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I think somehow it's what built my my, my, my steam a bit uh, to say, ah, can't snipe a dream. So then uh, I'm also somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, great stuff. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to take a break right now, but uh, mm -hmm. that break, I want to know how much you know about some of my music. Pick any Zambia music video that we, you think we should play right now. Oh, I would take you to. Uh, I loved and I still love Lady T's um, uh, songs. Okay, so. Yeah, so. Um, um, I think on that one now, uh, we were just going to do some picky picky now, picky dolly. I don't okay. have many titles, but Osalila. Lili, Osalila, yeah, Osalila, Lili T. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> alright, let's check out yeah. uh, Lili T with Osalila. Stay tuned.
Billy T with Osali. That was a great song, eh? Very great song and inspiring. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very much, very much, yeah. And those were songs, those were days. You prefer the days. The music. I prefer the music in those days. At okay. least I used to get something nowadays. I, I'm trying to catch up. catch up with the beats and also okay. sometimes the relics. Sometimes you can't get... Uh, the, 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 what, the meaning in the song and so on. Yeah. <laughs> we send you a playlist so yeah. you can catch up with the um, now songs. Exactly. exactly yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, just moving on. You're married. You have uh, how many children? Well, I'm married. Um, you know, there's one question that I've been trying to, to avoid. Um, children, marriage and so on. Um, we have three as a family, uh, children. And um, I have three, and um, my wife has one. Altogether, that makes it seven. I know people are wondering, say seven. How, yeah, how come? And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is maybe what uh, one or two people may not uh, may not know that I was I was once married. Um, not to mention what transpired, what happened. Anyway, uh, it's part of life. It's normal. And uh, my wife was also uh, once married. And um, we met somehow. And um, it happened that I had uh, three uh, from the previous, and also she had one. And uh, we have three in the middle, uh, so that makes it uh, seven children. So we have seven children, and um, I'm happily married. Uh, we've been together for now, we've clocked. Uh, that's about is it nine or seven years now? Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Why is that okay. good at? Yeah. Yeah, that's mm. what I wanted to say. You're a big yeah. typical man. Typical man. Did yeah. Did you celebrate so, your anniversary? Anniversary? Yeah, we do. I just remember September somewhere there, but sometimes yeah. yes, I I normally have anyway. I've I've I've, I've loaded that in my wife. She has that software <laughs> software for the dates. Okay. Yeah, she so she knows the years and the dates she's been following. So me because I'm an entrepreneur, I have to leave much of my energy to think about business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, just uh, so how has been your marriage so far? So is it, we don't know if it's seven or nine years. Well, my marriage so far so good, and um, I want to say I have no regrets. Um, I, I've had the best uh, of my moments, uh, and if anything, I think uh, there's quite a lot that I've learned from uh, uh, my, especially my partner. Um, there's quite a lot uh, because I mean, you know, it's uh, very difficult, you know, when you're a celebrity or you're in the limelight, and then you, to deal with such such a person, and then you need a woman who is uh, um, who is um, who has got a, a big heart, and uh, you need a woman who's got a greater understanding, and uh, she has been there, and I want to say she has contributed much of the happiness that we have uh, we've enjoyed in and in, in what in marriage, because uh, she's one person who doesn't like followed to say oh what are you doing oh what is this and so on and also uh, from the business angle so uh, she's been more of a mentee where she would want to learn to say how are you managing i want to learn this and that and i think it has helped us so much um, and i want to say i've enjoyed uh, my marriage it has been the best it's the best year and if you if we were to say okay let's go back i choose uh, the woman of my my life i'd still go for her okay uh, yeah. uh seeing that you you, you work together what has been the greatest challenge? Because most, most couples don't manage to work together because they will end up going home, looking the other side. And have you ever faced those challenges, maybe especially when you just started working together? I have never, we've never faced those challenges. Um, I think partially what has contributed to that is um, her part, I'll, I'll say maybe on her part. Uh, because, I mean, uh, in most of, in some of these marriages, you know, um, we have a situation where sometimes like the vision of the business i'm the one who carries the vision of the business but many a times that when you are in a, a, a marriage setup sometimes the other partner sometimes doesn't acknowledge to say the one who is uh, who has the vision is my other partner and i need to support the what the vision and i want to say on her part she has been more on the acknowledging side to say i know he is the vision carrier and uh, she knows to say i'm more knowledgeable and because of that she has been more on the learning side most of the time she consults to say, how do you handle this? How do you handle accounting? Can you teach me this? Can you help me understand this? How do you go about this? And because of that, it has lessened even conflicts because the other partner is more on the learning side. But of course, even me, there are quite a number of things that I've been consulting to say, but how do you understand this? How do you go about this? And because of this, I think it has made even my work easier to help my partner, to help upgrade my partner. Uh, the time even when I found her, 
um, I want to say she wasn't an ed educationist. I took her to school uh, so that she could go and pursue a degree in, uh, in education so that she would understand what goes on in, in, in the classrooms and so on. And right now she's uh, pursuing an MBA. Uh, because, uh, so that she can understand what goes on in, in what in business and it's all because she has been more on the easy side than more on the confrontation side where she would want to fight me she would want to to come into what I'm whatever doing so she has given me that freedom and it's easy to work with her I, I think to me that, that that's the contributing fact what yeah. has been uh, your greatest achievement throughout your career um, business wise I can say yeah, that has been the greatest. Uh, that has been one of the, the, the what the greatest achievement. Though I want to state that anyway, every uh, achievement normally comes with a lot of uh, challenges. And uh, I want to state that um, to me, my passion has been to to serve the people, and saving the people in this area of, uh, especially in the area of uh, education. So to me, when I help a child, I help somebody out there. When I see people out there, I meet people out there who normally tell me to say, sir, I'm who I am because of uh, what you told me at some point, because of your book. To me, that is uh, a greatest, the greatest achievement. I mean, I can count on all these to say, have this and this. To me, they amount to nothing as long as I haven't touched a water life. So the lives that I've touched out there, whenever I walk the streets, People tell me to say, sir, you are my role model, you inspire me. To me, that is a great thing and I feel to say I have achieved what I wanted. Okay, and a great achievement as a family? Well, as a family, to me, it's, uh, it's, it's the unity. Because um, I've told you right from the, 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 what the, 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 the onset to say, you know, you're talking about uh, children who are coming from uh, different uh, uh, states, right? So I have three, uh, she has one, and uh, we have three. Right, so all together you're talking about seven. You know, the challenge, especially to people that were once married and um, came from uh, divorce backgrounds and uh, coming together, then you have children and all this. Sometimes it comes in uh, when it comes to uh, bringing these children together. How do you bring these children together? And how do you make it make sure that maybe if my children have children that I came with, uh, they don't like come to me each time maybe there's a problem or they want they don't look at me and they don't look at the other partner to say uh, she's not their mother or she's or the, he's not their father so i want to say in that area we have managed actually you all to, stay together we all yeah they, we also all of them are we are together okay. uh, though once in a while they go back to their uh, the other uh, team they go to their mothers uh, the mother and also their father um, and uh, we have uh, given them that independence where they can move freely, uh, they can go on the other side. But at the end of the day, I want to say that we have managed to bring uh, this unit where uh, if you try to interview these children, uh, they know each other very well. And also at the same time, uh, they recognize, uh, even the other party, they recognize to say, this is our father, this is our dad, um, she's our mother, and also with the due respect. So uh, I want to state that this has not been a problem, like the way it has been a problem in certain marriages where sometimes it will be a point of conflict where they'll be fighting over children and maybe other children, they don't recognize the father, they don't recognize the, what they want. Uh, so I want to say in that area of marriage that at least there's, there's, the, there's that unit and they know each other and they, they, they do what they, they, they help each other. Uh, you can't know who is who and who is coming from where. Uh, it's all one family. Great. I think uh, on that note, we can take another break. So you're still watching Unwrapped. Uh, you can stay tuned, keep watching. We're just taking a short, short break. Welcome back. I'm still chatting with Rosia Siatwambo. I'm having a great time. But this time, I want to ask you some uh, random questions. I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. OK, what do you prefer, pets or gadgets? Mm, pets. Pets? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what would have been your, your career if you were not a teacher? If I was not a teacher, um, I would have been a farmer. Musical movies? Musical movies? Uh -huh. um, well, I'm not so much into... <laughs> <laughs> okay, craziest thing you've ever craziest, done? Uh, craziest thing I've ever done... Uh, Things. You know, sometimes when you're an entrepreneur, much of the things is just, uh, you know, so, business here yeah, and 
Well, let me think of the craziest thing that I've, I've ever done. Okay, maybe bring another question before I was done. <laughs> <laughs> the, the song that you sing in the shower. The song that I sing in the shower. I want you to sing it. I want you want me to sing it. Yes. Ah. No, don't laugh at me. No, no, no. We won't laugh. Okay. I like the same lady tea. Um. Oh, Salila. <laughs> now, me, I like singing right from my heart. So <laughs> where I pause, never mind. It simply means the, the rhythm is going on in my heart. No, just so if I say, Oh, Salila. <laughs> no, the, the rest I sang it inside me. Favorite <laughs> Zambian dish? Favorite so Zambian dish, I like um, I like waffles, shimmered waffles, and okay. yeah, uh, and also visashi. Bow ties yeah. or tie? Uh, I like tie. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, favorite favorite female feature? Favorite female feature. Feature. Uh, when you look at um, your wife and you say, "This is one thing I, pre I, I appreciate about a woman." <laughs> Favorite phrase? Uh, great. great. So just great. I, okay. I like just to say great. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Now we we'll move on. Uh, let me mm -hmm. just ask you this question. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever in your life, you know, like uh, being a teacher, mostly people look down on you, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. use that and just mm -hmm. expanded it, and people now respect you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met? People who used to laugh at you and say, "Ah, ni teacher, ni teacher," and oh, now you meet them now. And yeah, yeah. how is so they? So many, Lord, Lord, so many. So some of us, Kapena, by this time around, would have married other people and so on. But yeah. I want to say, especially at that point of marriage, when I was uh, throwing my manifesto, that's where I had a challenge, because uh -huh. everyone you'd go to, quite okay, I have the features of uh, now a handsome man and tall and so on. But the moment you just reach a point where she ask you to say, so what, are, what do you do to earn a living and then just say, I'm a teacher. And you say, oh, let me go and think about it. So I lost quite a number. I lost out quite a number of, uh, of uh, females uh, I would have uh, married. Uh, Probably but, they were not meant for you. They were not meant for me, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, so many, yeah. Okay. And so many of that. Okay, so now we're taking another break and I want you to pick another Zambian song. Favorite song, I like Mac Two. Yeah. And uh, Mac Two, forgive me. You can sing that song. Maybe dancing. I can try Mac Two's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so even when you forgive them. <laughs> sing, I'll, I'll be dancing. Sing. Uh, we'll continue singing after this song. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's check out Mac Two with Forgive Them. Precious name in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. You and one, you forgive for them. Ninja, you wanna put up for them. Rock with Sunday, cause you make your money. Every day I quail in his sunny. One more time. You and one, you forgive for them. Ninja, you wanna put up for them. Rock with Sunday, cause you make your money. Shipo se shita, ni ne kuku bolo, 
Buloka, Buloka, Tiriti, Gareta, Usapula, Ayawata, Iti, Ile Gugu, Buloka, Ile Wukisha, Ikele, Tiro, Mupia, Shine, Nale, Tesha, Iwe Mwati, Kuki, Kulemu, Nichi, Mwana, Pulo, Kulemu, Wako, Zanda, Kasi, Ume, Kimani, Lafita, Ya, Kweo, Ili, Sani, Iwe Mwati, Kuki, Kulemu, Nichi, Mwana, Pulo, Kulemu, Wako, Zanda, Kasi, Ume, Kimani, Lafita, Ya, Kweo, Kambuzi papura on deck, kamo bakozi zil on deck, magero tibiri on deck, wale tio suda on deck, eight is real so rappers on deck, I got a dope DJ on deck, security matero gym on deck, on deck, yo G where we are with the shisha, on deck, this is party is idiotica, waga wana kasi idiotica, ukambela chabe pitika, Welcome back. So that's Mark Two with uh, "Forgive Them." He showed us a bit of uh, the Mark Two dance that he can do. <laughs> we know. So that was your hidden talent. Singing. <laughs> Come out. Yeah. I, I can't hide you. Yeah. Given an opportunity, why I'm going to produce a hit, which the <laughs> nation will, will, will be shocked with it. To say, oh no. my God, so Doc can sing. No problem. We'll find uh, you a producer. We'll get you to a studio. No problem. But meanwhile, just yeah. Is it going to be a, a quiet reading? For now, it's still quiet, really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're coming towards the end of the show. Did you enjoy yourself? Very much, very much. Okay. I had a wonderful time. Yeah. yeah, thanks yeah, for yeah. accommodating us. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. But uh, before, are you currently working on anything new? Are you writing a new book? What's happening? Well, book writing, I've, uh, first of all, I've, I've just hung the gloves for now. Um, I just want to concentrate on what I've uh, put in place. But of course, I'm, I'm, I'm also working on the, the, what the site, the Kamango one. Uh, that's um, in the near future. I want people to start seeing that the structure is going up. Okay. But it takes a lot of planning and also a lot of uh, thinking. So that's what I've been doing in the what in the background. But of course, also diversification into the hospitality industry. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's very yeah. nice. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, any last words to anyone, young people? Well, because I'm an educationist, me always like appealing to all those that are in schools uh, to continue working hard. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur because people normally think, especially young people, to say you can do without education. Not anymore. It doesn't work. Uh, this time around you need education. Education is the key to, to success. You can't do minus education. Uh, and they say the way of the uneducated is, is, is hard. It's, it's quite expensive. So if you want to have an easy life, you must fight for this education. And I want to say each and every person is a genius. We are all gifted. You can do as well as me, as well as another person. All right, Roses, thank you so much. I really had a great time talking to you. Mine. Okay, so this has been your girl Helen Unwrapped and I was chatting with the entrepreneur Rosie Suatombo. I hope you unwrapped him enough and I hope, like we always say, I'll never get tired of saying this. We bring these people so you can learn from them. You know more about them, you, you learn, you get inspired and yeah, every person there's something to learn from them. Anything, anything, get something and use it to your positivity to improve your life and everything else. So you can like our page on Facebook, Unwrapped with Helen. There you get links for our YouTube episodes. You get to catch up on episodes that you didn't watch. You can watch this episode as many times as you wish. So from me, your girl Helen and the entire team, it's bye-bye. Mm -hmm.